Now we each agreed we'd take one question, and uh, I'll, as I'll recognize someone first. Uh, Darlene Superville, Associated Press. Thank you, Mr. President. What is your view of Russia's announcement today that it will, quote, fundamentally scale back its military operations near Kyiv and another northern city in Ukraine? Do you see this as uh, possibly the war beginning to come to an end, or do you see this as Russia trying to buy time and to recalibrate for a new military effort? We'll see. I don't read anything into it until I see what their actions are. We'll see if they follow through on what they're suggesting. There are negotiations that have begun today, or not begun, continued today, one in Turkey and others. I had a meeting with the heads of state of uh, our four allies in NATO, France, Germany, uh, uh, the United States, and, uh, and, uh, uh, and Great Britain. And uh, there seems to be a consensus that uh, let's just see what they have to offer. We'll find out what they do. But in the meantime, we're going to continue to keep strong the sanctions. We're going to continue to provide the Ukrainian military with their capacity to defend themselves. And we're going to continue to keep a close eye on what's going on. Thank you. I call on Dawn Tan, Channel News Asia. Good afternoon, uh, Mr. President. Good afternoon. Oh, good afternoon, Mr. President, and good afternoon, uh, uh, Prime Minister. Uh, Prime Minister, you've advocated the benefits for the United States to develop a bipartisan consensus on Asia, uh, that Asia depends upon a predictable U.S. policy towards the region. How assured are you, though, that the momentum that you've seen with ASEAN U.S. engagement has the ability to move the needle on shared objectives in the Asia-Pacific towards the fundamentals that we all need to live by, peace, prosperity, and economic development. And basically, how well is President Biden doing in this regard? <laughs> I think if you put it at a very broad level, there is consensus in the United States on the, uh, the direction of their policy in the Asia-Pacific, that they want to engage China, that they are developing, trying to develop a stable, predictable relationship with China, and at the same time engaging other countries in the region, not just on strategic and security issues, but also on economic cooperation and trade and other investment and environmental and sustainability needs. So at a very broad level, I think the consensus is there. At the level of specific policies, each administration launches new initiatives I'm quite convinced, having seen several administrations, that this one is completely focused on achieving something lasting in Asia, and we in Singapore will do our best to help to make sure that the proposals work and will take root and will continue to grow for many years to come. Thank you. Thank you, Thank you President Biden. Appreciate it. Thank you. Thank you.